Today, Mark and I stand upon a roof, taking in the unparalleled beauty of a country we have both come to love, Guatemala. Today's objective is to find the best barber in Solala. I'm Joshua Thomas Gray, and this is my new series where I'm taking you along with me as I get haircuts in different places around the world to find where the best barbers are, but more importantly, connecting with local communities. As we leave the oasis by the lake that's surrounded by volcanoes, we find ourselves in a busy and crowded city. We're just hoping that they're gonna be open this late. There's a lot of people in there. Let's hope we can get some, some spots. As we settled in and got in line, I could care less what was about to happen. I just picked a picture. Mark was a little more concerned. He's kind of worried. You don't want it as short as mine. I was kind of scared watching you go. I thought he was serious about having you, you bald. <laughs> You're I'm bald. Like, oh gosh. Can I can I show him like a picture of kind of what I want my sides to look like? Yeah. 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 As Mark figures out what's going on here, he finally, half-heartedly shows the picture of what he wants done to his barber. And you can see the uncertainty in Mark's entire being. He's a little worried because he just watched me get my hair cut and it was far too short for him. But like a champ, he gets in the seat and we get rolling. This wasn't like getting a haircut in the States at all. It was so fast, I couldn't believe it. And then it only ended up costing just under five USD. Another thing you notice right away is that these dudes don't ask questions. They're not concerned if they're gonna mess something up. When they start, they go all the way to the finish and they never have to ask you if it looks right or what you think about it. These guys are professionals. Everybody who comes in is having a good time and they do an excellent job. They're also just cranking people out of this place like a well-oiled machine. So although it doesn't cost very much relative to what it costs in the States to get a haircut, I think these dudes are doing pretty good in Guatemala. As we say our goodbyes and start heading out, all I can think is, I wish there were barbers like this where I live. With our fresh cuts, we hit the streets of Solala in Guatemala. There's no shortage of controlled chaos or maybe not so controlled. As people are hopping out the backs of trucks, carrying crates across the street, people are yelling at each other, whistles are blowing, everything is so chaotic, but at the same time, so alive as people are just making stuff happen. All right, second Guatemala haircut, same barber, super cool. The dude remembered us, I mean, that's, not saying much, we were filming it a bunch last year, but he asked if he could see the video, if we made a video from it last year. He like pulled out his phone and was looking for it on YouTube. That was pretty sweet to be able to go back, see the same people, get another haircut. Super cool, pumped about that. There's something pretty magical about Guatemala. Maybe it's the perfect weather, the amazing landscape, but really, it seems that every time it comes down to the people. Despite a lot of difficulties that Guatemala has experienced, everyone is determined and moving forward. Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to leave a comment below of where we should go and who has the best barbers in the world.